and it's going to help us on our homework. Now, if you look at your homework, it says draw double a known fact to find each product, and it says draw an array. So we're going to talk about how to do both of those right now. Okay. So the first thing you do, one of the problems, let's say we have um, 9 times 4. And now it wants us to double a known fact and draw an array. So what we're going to do is we're going to break one of these numbers up into two smaller numbers. Remember I showed you in the example, when we, were, when we were multiplying the big number, like 12, how we broke it down, it made it easier, okay? So, which one of these numbers can we break down into two smaller numbers that are the same number? Like this plus itself equals one of these. Hmm. Bethany. Yes, we can make this four. Two plus two equals four, okay? Now, what do we need to put around this right now? What do we need to put around this? Um, parentheses. Yeah. And so really what we're saying is 9 equals 2 plus 2. And we know with the distributive property that that means it's 9 times 2 and 9 times 2, and then we're going to add them together. Now, don't worry about this. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to make two different multiplication sentences, and then we're going to add them together. So, the first number I'm going to multiply is 9 times 2. And then the second one is 9 times 2. What's 9 times 2 equal? What's 9 times 2? It does equal 18. Well, if we know 9 times 2 equals 18 up here, what is 9 times 2 going to equal down here? It's also going to equal 18. So what should I do with these two numbers? <coughs> Remember, I split this four into in in two equal parts. What do I need to do to get to find out what nine times four is? Yeah, I'm going to add them. Eight plus eight is sixteen. One plus one plus one is three. I got thirty-six. Okay, thirty-six is my answer. Now it's going to say make an array. Make an array. Okay. So we're going to make an array. An array is like a rectangle model using counters. And then we're going to break it into two e easier rectangles. So my array is 9 times 4. So I'm going to go 9 across the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And since it's times 4, I have to go down, f do four rows of those. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, my array. I have nine on the top. And I have four on the side. How did I break? How am I going to break this array into those two equal parts, Robert? Put a line down it. But where? Underneath the line. No. Remember, what can I break into two equal parts? Can I break nine into two equal parts, or can I break four into two equal parts, Cody? Oh, four. Yes, I can break four into two equal parts. What one part is going to be two? And the other part is going to be 2. So I make my line coming right through here. Doop, 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 doop. So, now, what's the side of this rectangle? 2. What's the side of this rectangle right here? Cody? 2. Okay. So, 9 times 2 is what? What's 9 times 2? How many dots do I have in here? How many dots do I have inside here? Jamie? 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How much is in this one right here? I have 9 
times 2. How many dots are in this rectangle right here? This. That's right, 18 again. Because <laughs> they're equal parts. And I add them up. 8 plus 8 is 16. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. My answer is 36. They're the same answers, aren't they? Okay. So when it says double a known fact, it means take one of these numbers, break it into two equal parts, and then make two multiplication sentences. When it says use an array, make our dots, make our rectangle with our dots, split it into two equal rectangles. And what you'll find when you count up the dots inside the rectangles and count up, we add up the answers to your uh, multiplication sentences, they're going to be the same thing.